they needed to influence, who they needed to own. Too far-fetched, he said? Not at all. And of course, at many of these rallies, I haven't brought it with me today, but I should, under freedom of information, I got a list of lobbyists, it's this thick, and I often read them out as to who they used to work for, and they are now in the paid employ of mining companies. He said to me, have a look at who's on the payroll of the coal seam gas companies these days. Former politicians, former deputy prime ministers, former bureaucrats, former lobbyists, former heads of farming bodies, former heads of grain growing associations, oh yes, we'll stop at nothing for a quick quid, former newspaper editors and former journalists. He said to me, in fact, they did their work, that's the mining companies, with the same precision as the CIA. And he said, it's now emerging that these companies even employed leading investigative journalists in order to find out all the information and all the right people they needed for victory. And he said, and that's how they managed to get everything rolled out and locked up by the time the rest of us were just waking up as to what had happened, what had been done to the farmers and the people of Australia.